out They screaming peace when there ain't no peace Israel pop a sign in the streets Look at me, the center of attention Black Messiah coming with a vengeance Coming with a vengeance Black Messiah coming with a vengeance They screaming peace, it ain't no peace We pop a sign in the streets We seeking peace in the streets of Babylon Brandison, Glock 40, tucking heat like a carry-on Sending against the fathers, got me sleeping, not napping on Christ the King revealed this aerial phenomenon Kicking against the bricks, lose your soul when that fire comes. We purify better than gold, got my Bible on. And that's all that I know when Babylon gon' fall, watch it blow. Ayy, switching it up, the nation's gon' drink it. I'm talking the cup, don't care what you think it. Believe in the gospel, the godly just thinking. The fires of heaven gon' gather for dinner. The eel of the flesh, the wicked, the sinner. Your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin. You get they issue. If they mind, they don't repent. This Whatever we want to do, we just doing whatever. We not guided by the Bible. We not guided by God. We doing whatever we want to do. But when we got it by God. That's when we show forth that true wisdom. This is the wisdom right here. And right. it's time for us, God chosen people, to start using it, or else we gonna die. That's how it go. Watch this. I'm gonna show you something. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable and all. What God say? Marriage is honorable and all. No, I'm sleeping around. Marriage is honorable and all. Side piece. Marriage is honorable and all. She just my girl. Marriage is honorable and all. The Bible yeah. said marriage honorable and all. You see yes, what I'm saying, bro? Right. That's what God honor. God don't honor girlfriends and boyfriends. He don't honor none of that stuff. Anything outside of marriage between a man and a woman, God do not honor that. I'm going to show you what he means. Watch this. He said marriage honorable, right? So watch the flip side of that. Keep reading. But whoremongers and adulterers. But whoremongers and adulterers. Marriage honorable. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But the whoremonger. But who? The whoremonger. What's the whoremonger? What's the whoremonger? Bed out. The man that sleep with different women, right? Bed out. You see what I'm saying? You got a girl, just a girl. That's your only girl. You a whoremonger. Right. Why? Because you're not married that sister. Right. Same thing, Reed. What? You don't? And adulterers. An adulteress. What's an adulterer? I'm married, right, and I'm dealing with somebody else outside my marriage, same thing, right? God say marriage honorable, but if you a whoremonger or an adulterer, read, God will judge. What God gonna do to you? God will judge. God's going to judge you. That ain't my words, I ain't make that up. This sound doctrine, this is what the, this is what the Bible say. If I love my brother, you know what I'm saying, you my brother, you an Israelite. If I love you, get what I'm going to do. I'm going to come out and tell you the truth. You understand? Right. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm not going to tell you God is okay with everything we do. Because right. he's not. Give me Psalm 5 and 5. I'm going to show you that. Yeah. Because the world is, there, is believing that God don't care what you do. Right. And when you think, when you really examine that, that's the reason why black folk going through hell in Jackson, Mississippi, and all over the rest of the world right, right. now. Because right. the lying church, the lying pastors, the lying ministers, right. lying to our people just right. to get that check, just to get that right. tithe money. Right. Right. They'll tell you anything to keep you coming to the church, except for what's right. Watch what God say, Reed. The book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 5. Yeah. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. The Bible say the foolish is not going to stand in God's sight. Right? Read. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. What God hate? He hate all workers of iniquity. Now, the pastor told me God hate the sin but love the sinner. Right. But the Bible say, read it again. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Uh -huh. Thou Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. The Bible say God hate the sin and the sinner. Yes. You understand that? That's what we out here to show our people. The reason why we going through so much, when we go through coronavirus, STDs, bad health, child support problems, all these different things we deal with as a community, as so-called black people, is because we break God's commandments. Right. You understand that? Give me Psalm 147, verse 19. Because right. God only gave his commandments to one set of people. Right. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell you the Bible is about everybody. The Bible is about all races. That's a lie. Because right. if the Bible is about all races, that means the people that did this to us, put us in slavery, put us in chains, if the Bible's about all races, that means they can be forgiven for that. You right. think God gonna forgive these people for what they did to us? If God is just God, now he punished us, but then the same people that put us, look, show them that sign. You don't think this deserves judgment? Right. You don't think somebody's supposed to get judged for doing this to somebody? Right. So why hadn't it happened? Because they got you in the trick bag thinking that God gonna deliver these people that caused us all this hell. Right. Still cause this for us today. 
But we got to realize that the only reason it happens in the first place is because we the ones messing up. God never gave them, you see the little white baby? Right up. God never gave his people the commandments to keep in the first place. Right. Watch this, read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showed it his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. You see that? It said his word, his statutes and his judgment was only shown to Israel. That's the sign right here, right? You see the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, Benjamin, Levi on down. God only gave his commandments to these people. God only gave the Bible to these people. What you see so-called white people laid on the sign? They not on there. Right. And the same thing the Bible say, keep reading. Verse 20, he has not dealt so with any with any nation. You see that? God say, the Bible say he never dealt with any other nation the way he dealt with the nation of Israel. He gave the nation of Israel commandments. He gave everybody else, the sun, the moon, the stars. Give me that in Deuteronomy 4 and 19. Right he gave them that to worship. But guess what we do now? We don't keep God's commandments. We follow them. We worship in horoscopes. We doing zodiac signs. I bet you know what your sign is. What's your sign? What's your zodiac sign? You're a Taurus, right? What's the fourth commandment? See how we jacked up? See how we in a trick bag? I know I'm a Taurus, something that ain't even real, right. but I don't know what the fourth commandment is in the Ten Commandments that everybody got in their house, everybody got in their store, they sell them at the dollar store, they sell them on these big old plaques, and I don't even know the fourth commandment, but I know I'm a Taurus. Right. Right. You see that? You see, you, you see the problem in that? Watch this, Deuteronomy 4, verse uh, 19. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 19. Bring it out. And lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun. Now see the sun, right? Because you got people that worship the sun. Right. They believe the sun itself is a god, right? right? Read. And the moon. And the moon. They think the moon is a god, right? And the stars. And the stars. That's where you get your horoscope from. From the constellations and all this different stuff that people think mean something. Right. They think they can read something on their app or in the newspaper on their phone and tell them how they day going to go because they are a certain sign. Right. And then it happened, coincidentally, oh, that's right. I knew this was right. I knew this was true. I am a Taurus. But then when the Bible come out and say you're going to die for sleeping around, that's hard to believe. Right. The Bible come out and say Jesus only came for one nation of people. God only sent the word for one nation of people. For some of us, that's hard to believe. You see how that's messed up? You see how that, that, that's just, we just, we jacked up out here. You see what I'm saying? Read on. Even all the hosts of heaven, uh -huh. should it be, should it be driven to worship them uh -huh. and serve them, which the Lord thy God have divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. You see that? God gave that to the other nations. God didn't give the Israelites the sun, the stars, and the moon to worship. That's the right. sun, the stars, and the moon, that served us. That right. was made for us. The right. planet Earth itself was made Bring for it us. Yes, Second Andrew 6 and 54. We're going to show you, bro. That's what we got to understand. This is the knowledge that we got to come back to. It's time out for us thinking we just black. Right. We just Negroes. Right. We ain't nothing. We right. this and that. Bring we got to come back and keep God's commandments. Yes, Otherwise, right. everything you see around you is going to be burned to the ground. Yes, and you're going to be burned right. with it. You understand? Okay. Read what you got. Second Andrew 6 and 54. The book of Second Andrew. Chapter 6, verse 54. It's time for the so-called black man to wake up. Right. We out here sleep. We dead in understanding. Right. We don't know no better. We don't know what's going on. Coronavirus out, war out, and all we think about is the next blunt. Right. The next uh, uh, ground we about to go get. Right. Free. Verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him, come we all. Come we all and the people shall, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Read that part one more time. Of him come we all and who else? Come we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So God got a chosen people. Believe yes, it or right. not, that's you, black man. Yes, that's right. you, black woman. You right. are the Israelites of the Bible. Right. But until we figure that out, we're going to stay going through what we're going through right here in Jackson, Mississippi. Yes, right. The crime rate still going to be high. Murder's going to be happening every other day, right. every weekend. It's still going to be robbing. It's still going to be uh, all type of criminal activity. It's still going to be whoremongering. It's still going to be homosexuality. Right. All this going to be going on until you get your mind right. That's what God right. say, read. Right. Right. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Who God made the world for? For our sake. God didn't make the world for the other nations? Our sake. God made the world for the Israelites. Right. Right. If there were no Israelites, there wouldn't be no world. But you don't see how special you are. You don't understand that the only reason it's a heaven and earth right now is because you exist. Right. God say he made this for you. Read. 
as for the other people. But what about the other people? Because a lot of us are concerned about race, other people, all these different things, right? We ain't concerned about our own. Right. We're more worried about the other nations who ain't got no problems. Right. They the ones living in the big brick mansions. They the ones that got food meanwhile in your Bring grocery up. stores ain't nothing on the shelf. Yes, right. Right. Watch what God say about them. Which also come of Adam. Because uh -huh. they come from Adam too. Thou has said that they are nothing. What God say? They are nothing. Yes, God right. said that the other nations are nothing yes, right. in comparison to the nation of Israel. But we don't get that. Instead, we want to be just like them. Give me Psalms 106 and 35. Right Instead up. of seeing how we above all these nations and start to act as above all these nations. Right Instead right of up. being the standard, we follow. That's the problem. Psalms 106 and verse 35. You got that? Yes, sir. Read it. The book of Psalms, chapter 106, verse 35. Uh, you know. But were mingled among the, the heathen and, le and learned their works. What we do when we was mingled among the other nations? Learn their works. You get that, brother Rob? What's your name? Robert. Rob, come here, bro. Let me holler. My name is Rob, man. How you doing? Yeah. You heard what the Bible just said? It said when we was up, read it again. I'm going to show you what the Bible said. I don't want you to take my word for it. You believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. You believe in God? We're going to show you something here. Read it. The book of Psalms, chapter 106, verse 35. Yeah, no. But were mingled among the heathen. The Israelites were mingled among the heathen. Mingled among the heathen meaning mixed with the other nations. You right. understand that? Watch this. What's what happened when they got mixed with the other nations? And learned their works. What they do? Learned their works. We began to learn the works of the other nations. What yes, that mean? Right. Read the next verse. Verse 36. And they, were, and they served their, their idols, uh -huh. which were a snare unto them. Once the Israelites mingled amongst everybody else, they began to do the nation's work. They used to they serve the idols of the other nations. Like, for instance, Christmas. You celebrate Christmas? You don't? You used to, though, did Why? Because your parents... Okay, well, why our parents celebrate Christmas? What do you think that's for? Why do you think they do? Is it the Bible? Is it Jesus' birthday? Because people say a whole lot of stuff about Christmas. So I just want to know, because the scriptures say the Israelites learned all these things from other people, other nations of people, right? right. That's your Christmas, that's your Valentine's right. Day, that's your Thanksgiving, that's your Halloween that's right. about to come up. All that stuff the Israelites learned from other nations of people. And what the Israelites do, read the verse 35 again. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And all the Israelites do from that point on, even up until now, we, the Israelites just follow what other people do. Now, my question is, Brother Robert, who the Israelites? Can we show you? I need you to stick with me. We're going we gonna to read the Bible. All right? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Right up. We're going to show you who the Israelites are. I'm going to read some scriptures, okay? And I want you to show me. Matter of fact, read verse 46. Because watch, I'm going to show you what these scriptures for, Brother Robert. Then I got to put you on game about some stuff. I see you got the cigarette right there. I see you got one in your ear, too. You understand that? Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So the Bible say, and they. When they say, and they, in this particular context, it's talking about the curses God will put upon his people. A curse. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Brother Rob? If I'm cursed, is that good? Is that the same thing as being blessed? Being cursed is the same thing as being blessed. It ain't, Brother Robert. Right. Because I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what a curse look like. You see, look look, look, look at this. Look, no, -uh, look around. You see this? All of this, all this rundown area where we live at, and the best thing you see, the most built up thing you see, is a church across the street. Right. The, all the tithe money that church collect over there, they keep the building up, but they can't keep the, the, pot, the potholes out the parking lot. Right. They can't do something. They can't open this gas station up over here. This can't be another gas station. Right. This can't be another business. That's what we're showing you, Brother Robert. That's a curse. Right. And these curses mentioned in the scripture. But I want to show you something about said curses, these particular curses, Brother Robert. I need you to stick with me. Because, matter of fact, give me 1 Corinthians 316. I got to deal with it now. Bring it out. I need you to pay attention, Brother Robert. You locked in. Yeah. What you think about? What you got on your mind, bro? Huh? So watch this then. So you believe in God, right? If God say don't put smoke cigarettes, you gonna stop? So what that mean, brother Rob? That means you don't believe in God. Watch this, read. <laughs> the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it out. Know ye, know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You hear that? The Bible says you the temple of God, brother Rob. You see what I'm saying? We ain't saying like we ain't never smoked no cigarette before. We ain't never we ain't saying like we ain't never smoked no dope before. But before we understood this knowledge, before we understood who we were, that's what was going on. Then we learned we can't do that. You understand? If we really believe in God, we're going to take heed to what he said. He said, you the temple of God, right? 
You believe that? You understand? You understand what's being said? It's red, right? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Spirit of God trying to dwell in you. You understand? That's the reason why you're here. God trying to deal with you, Brother Robert. God trying to deal with us as a people. Right. But it's stuff like this that keep that from happening. You understand? Read. Verse 17. If a man defile the temple of God. Then it say, if a man defile the temple of God, which you are, Brother Robert, you know you defile the God temple, right? How not? On the side of the, on the side of the box of the cigarettes you get, it got it say all oh, a long list of toxins. Can't none of us out here pronounce. But yet and still, it even say the Surgeon General warning: if you smoke this, you might get cancer, you might die. But then we still pick up the box and we smoke it. Right. That's the fire in your temple, bro. You understand? Wait up. Stick with me. Stick with us. Read that. Him shall God destroy. What God say He gonna do to the person that continue to smoke cigarettes over and over and over again? Shall destroy. Especially when he think it's a joke, especially when he think it's a game, like God playing with him. For God, for the temple of God is holy. Uh-huh. Which verse 17 again. Verse 17. If a man defile the temple of God, uh -huh. him shall God destroy. The Bible says God gonna destroy you. You see why? You see, understand, brother Robert. That's why we go through what we going through. We don't believe in God for real. So uh so right 32 and 24. Bring it I'm gonna show you how to believe in God. If you really believe in God, when well, you heard what the Bible say, but that get what that means you supposed to do, bro, Robert. You supposed to do it, right? Right, right or wrong? T I believe, I believe I'm gonna get a check. So get what I do, I go to work, right? If I wasn't getting no check, if I didn't believe I was gonna get no check for going to work 40 hours a week, I wouldn't go to work. So it's the same thing with God. If I right. believe God, I'm gonna do what God say. Right. Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord, taketh heed to the, to the commandments. You hear that, bro? It said, he that believe in the Lord, take heed to the commandments. We just read you a commandment, right? What you think about that commandment? God say don't defile your temple, right? So what's your thoughts on it? Should we just continue to do that? Or should we work on stop? Should we work on changing that? What you think? I'm trying to have a smart dis a discussion with you. I'm trying Bring to have up. a conversation with you. Right. I'm trying to show you wisdom according to the scriptures. You understand? Psalms 111 and 10. Psalms 111 and 10, bro. This what matter of fact, Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Bring it out. Bring it out. Proverbs 1 and 20. Watch this. Watch this, Bud Robert. We tried to, because this love right here, Bud Robert, I don't know if you know this or not, but this love what we're doing. Because ain't nobody ever told you to stop doing that before. Everybody you hang around lets you do whatever you want to do. And if something happens, then what? That's blood on their hand. Right. But with us, that's not going to be the case. We're going to show you what the Bible says, Brother Robin. It's up to you to get your mind right and do it. You understand? Listen to this, Brother Robin. You all right? You sure? Yeah. Watch this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom quiet without. Uh -huh. She uttered her voice in the streets. You see that? This is what wisdom do. What you on, Brother Robin? You on a cigarette, right? You smoke a cigarette. What else you had? A little what? Huh? Say it again. I know I didn't hear you say coke out either. That's what you said? So you on coke right now. You out here rolling. What you think God gonna do to you for that? Romans 6 and 23. Because our people lack wisdom. We lack knowledge. This is the problem. This is the reason why the church on the corner and ain't nobody getting help. Ain't nobody getting saved. Ain't nobody getting healing. We still out here smoking coke, smoking crack, smoking right dope, up. smoking cigarettes. Right. And you mean to tell me that your pastor is teaching the truth according to the Bible? Right ain't no way. Read right what you got. Up. The book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. You see that? It said the wages of sin is death. This is what death look like. Right. This is what lack of understanding look like. Right. When we go into all type of evil, all manner of sin, this is what happens. This is what's going on. We struggle out on drugs. We laughing and stuff ain't funny. Right. We're dealing with all type of evil. Right. We're stealing, we robbing, we killing, and the pastor not teaching God commandments. Right. That's what the Bible means when it says, read it again. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin, meaning what you get for being in sin is death. That's right. That ain't my words, they are words. That's what the Bible says. That's right. And it's going to go from spiritual death to literal death if we do not get our mind right. That's what God's saying. Right. Why do you think people died in the first place? Give me all, so I, nah. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. 
Bring it out. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Bring it out. The pastor not bringing this out. The pastor not teaching you this. The, power, the pastor not going to tell you that God going to kill you because he wants you to be alive long enough to buy him a Benz, long right. enough to get pay your time money and pay his rent, right. pay his mortgage, pay for his children food, pay for their clothes. That's what the pastor going to do. Right. He going to teach you pay tithes. We going to teach you keep God commandments so you going to die. Yes. Right. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Uh -huh. Because Satan's because sentence against an evil work is not exhausted speedily. Because that's what we do. Sentence against the evil work is not really again, not done, not what? Is is not executed speedily. Because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily, meaning you hear the prophets talking about death and God gonna do this, and you like, them niggas lying. God ain't did I've been smoking all my life. Right. I've been smoking for 12 years, 15 years, God ain't did nothing to me yet. Bring it out. Because you think because God ain't just jumping out the sky, striking you down for what you do, read. Therefore, the heart of the son, the, the heart of the son of man is fully set in them to do evil. That's why you do evil. Right. You think you're not going to get judged for what you do. Right. Your pastor yeah. telling you it's all right. Your pastor been lying to you for 15 seasons, telling you it's your season. It ain't been your season yet. Right. But no, we don't understand that. We don't get that part. God say, read it again. Verse 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Uh -huh. Therefore, the heart, of, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Our mind fully set to do evil. Right. But then the next thing that happened, it may not happen to us, but somebody, baby, somebody 25 years old, 22 years old, 21 years old, getting shot in the club. Right. After homecoming. We had a, a, a great time in Jackson, Mississippi last Saturday. Right. But then the very next thing that happened is folks getting put to death. Right. Why do you think that happened? Why do you think that is in the first place? Right. Bring it up. Because it's sin, it's evil in this city. Right. That's what the prophets going to do. They come out and tell you the truth. And we don't care what nobody think about it. Right. Read it. Verse 12. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times. So you can do evil a hundred times. You can do as much evil as you think you can do. Right? And his days be prolonged. Uh -huh. Yet surely I know that I that it shall be well with them that fear God. It's gonna be well with those that fear God, I meaning keep his commandments, but what's gonna happen to those that don't? Which fear before him, uh -huh. but it shall but it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall neither shall he prolong his days. See that? Read again. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before God. God not going to prolong your days. You wonder why people dying at an alarming rate? Folks dying at 14, 15, 16, 17 years old? Because God not playing with you. Right. God not playing with black folks. Right. God not playing with Hispanics and Native Americans. He's not playing with the Israelites. That's right. And until you get that in your mind, you're going to continue to die. You're going to continue to lose your life. You're right. going to continue to go through hell on this earth. That's what the Bible talking about. It's time for us to get our mind right. right. Romans 13, 11. This is my last one. Bring it out. It's high it time up. for us to come out of sleep. We sleep, man. We sleep walking around here. Right. We don't know whether we going or coming. We eat pork, we lying. Right. Cheating on our wives, sisters cheating on their husbands. Right. Ain't got no husbands, we on crack, right. we on all uh, wet. We doing all this stuff, we smoking K2, Spice. Right. Above that our damn mind. Watch this. The book of Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the, knowing the time that is now, that now it is a high time to awake out of sleep. It's high time to wake out of sleep. Cause we sleep. Our people think somebody love them because they selling them dope. Right. They let you get the get get the crack for a little, a little less than they sell to somebody else. Right. That ain't love. That's hatred in the eyes of God. Yes, right. And now they got you out here jacked up. Right. They got you out here messed up. You trying to bring your high down with a little cigarette. You trying to get your uh, get yourself back together. Meanwhile, the coke got your mind gone. That's right. And if something happened to you tonight, it's because of that. Right. Because you ain't in your right yeah. mind. You ain't sober. That's what God <laughs> say. Read again. Verse eleven. And that, knowing, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we when be de when delivered. When we believe. When, when we believe. Our prayer, give me Matthew 26, man. Bring it up. We got to get our mind right, Israel. Right. Put the coke down, bro. Put the dope down. Put the cigarette down, and you're going to die. That's what God say. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.